Wow. What's this? Study and work in the UK without IELTS 2021 fully funded. Okay, guys, I want us to look into this. There are most people out there who are finding it difficult to um, pass IELTS, let alone, I mean, getting the opportunity to come to the UK to work or study. Now, here's the case I've got onto um, an article that says study and work in the UK without IELTS 2021 fully funded. Does that mean that you're going to be given a scholarship? Let's go into this article and see what it says. I will actually say this article is authentic, but um, frankly speaking, I've not gone through it. I just want to go through it with you so that I all come to a conclusion. I think people are looking up to um, this information because, you see, some have tried on a number of occasions to pass IELTS, but it's still not working. And that they are looking for other opportunities like getting a scholarship, I mean, escaping IELTS. So let's look at what is here. UK made it easy now to study and work in the UK without IELTS. Wow. You can now study and work in the UK without IELTS. Let's look at how that is possible. A UK education opens doors. Wherever you go in the world, you can apply for a scholarship in the UK to study for master's and PhD degree programs in UK universities. This is indeed a great news. Let's move on. After completing the degree, you can officially work in the UK without IELTS. You see, one thing I know is that most people who come to the UK as um, are required to write IELTS because it's one of the requirements. Without it, um, it's become very difficult to come to the UK. But here's the case. You can now study and work in the UK with that IELTS, and it has to do with applying for a scholarship. Okay, let's see how to apply for the scholarship. All right. So, there are 22 universities where international students can study in the UK with that IELTS. The general idea here is that um, if you should go by this method, if you should apply for the scholarship and be given, what happens here is that you can't come here straight and work. Ideally, you have to um, study in one of the universities after which you can be mandated to work. I think that's a general impression here because you see that after completing the degree, you can officially work in the UK without IELTS. So what this means is that you can't come to the UK with a scholarship, I mean, without having to write IELTS and then start work. You come to the UK with a scholarship, you will have yourself um, probably pursue your degree or PhD in one of the universities um, I'll be talking about very soon because they said there are 22 universities that um, international students can study in the UK without IELTS. So once you study in these universities and you complete your degree or PhD um, program, what that means is that you can work in the UK. So you can't come directly without the IELTS and then start work. So that's the general impression here, so you take notes. So there are 22 universities where international students can study in the UK without IELTS. A great initiative from the UK government to work in the UK after graduation. Okay, let's move on to look at the scholarships that are available. The UK scholarships are fully funded and will cover almost all your expenses. This is great news. <laughs> so, should you get a scholarship? What happens here is that you are going to be fully funded. So, your fees will be included. Your accommodation will be included. I mean, everything. I mean, when we say fully funded, everything will be paid for. And all you have to do is just carry yourself from wherever you are coming from and then come in and pursue your degree or PhD program. This is a great news. So, applicants can apply with the English proficiency certificate. What's that? English proficiency certificate from the previous university. Wow. English proficiency certificate from the previous university. So um, this is one of the requirements to apply for the scholarship. English, you should have a, an English proficiency certificate from the previous university you attended. Probably whatever school you attended, whatever tertiary institution you attended. You just have to have an English proficiency certificate. And I don't think this happens in Africa. Do you have English proficiency certificate? Well, I don't know if the transcript was because ideally... I know most um, African um, universities or tertiary institutions give transcripts at the end of the course. So I don't know if that's what you are requesting for. Many UK scholarships are announced by the government of the UK. The UK has world-recognized universities, which is so true. So many world-class degrees on offer in the UK. Okay. There are more than 395 universities and colleges in the UK offering over 50,000 degree programs. So ideally, um, to come to the UK and start work, you need IELTS. And if you are coming to the UK without IELTS under scholarship, then what happens here is that you have to finish up the degree or PhD program after which you will be permitted to work in the UK without IELTS. So if you are interested, I mean, coming over from wherever you are to pursue your degree or your PhD, and then IELTS has become your headache, then you can probably um, grab onto this opportunity. But let's look at how um, to apply for the scholarship. So here it says that details about study and work in UK without IELTS. So the host country is UK. Scholarship is fully funded. As I said, they will pay everything for you. Your accommodation and everything will be paid for. 
mm, programs you are permitted to do master's degree and phd degree programs and that uh, there are quite a lot of um uk universities that do not require ielts so there are 22 of them here um university of essex university of central lancashire university of greenwich swansea university University of Northampton, University of Plymouth. I mean, there are quite a lot here. So you can just go through and then choose your preferred university. And uh, you should know that um, going to do your PhD or master's in these universities do not um, require IELTS. So applicants with English proficiency certificates are eligible to apply. Applicants can get their English proficiency certificates from their previous university. So um, actually, I'm not familiar with this, but if you have a way of getting an English proficiency certificate, then I think you are good to apply for this scholarship with the purpose of I mean, coming over to um, pursue your degree or PhD or master, something like that. But if you have the intention of coming here to work, then I think that should be after you have attained your degree or um, PhD with one of the universities here. All right. So in the letter university, it should be mentioned that the applicant has studied all his courses in English. You can you can use a letter form from that university instead of the IELTS certificate. So it's just that they just still want to see um, an evidence of your English proficiency. And that is why they are requesting for the English um, <coughs> certificate from your previous university. So look at some of the list of scholarships in the UK. Just pick your pen and paper and then you are ready to go. But I need one of these scholarships I need to study in the UK. So let's see. We have the first one as Rhodes Scholarship. Rhodes, Rhodes Scholarship 2022 in the United Kingdom. Each year, the Rhodes awards 100 scholarships to international students. The Rhodes Scholarship at the University of Oxford is available to study masters and PhD programs. So, if you want to apply for this scholarship, let me see if I can show you the way out. Well, you can read more about it. So, you just go to uh, what's the website, opportunityconnect.info. And you can get access to this information. You just click on read more about it, and you can probably they will show you how to apply for this scholarship. The second one is Great Scholarship in UK 2021. They give out 310 scholarships. So the Great UK Scholarship is a fantastic scholarship opportunity for international students to study in UK. There are 310 scholarships that will be provided by the government of the UK and the British Council. You can complete your master's degree program in any of the 19 UK universities. So you can also read more about it by using the same website I mentioned earlier. And I think I'm familiar with this particular scholarship, Shivenen Scholarship in the UK 2022. Um, I can talk much about this scholarship because I think I have um, encountered that before. With this scholarship, all you have to do is that they ask you to write an essay. Yes, an essay. They ask you to write some number of essays. And then they will assess these essays to actually measure your level of profession. I mean, I don't actually know the reason why they request for the essays, but I know of a friend who was asked to write some number of essays. And then if they are pleased with your essays, then you are given the scholarship to actually pursue your master's degree or PhD. So you can read more about it. I mean, by using the same website, you also have um, University of Plymouth UK giving scholarships, um, welcome scholarships by the UK government. We also have UK Bristol University Scholarship 2021. And the seventh one here is University of West England Chancellor um, Scholarship. UK University of Wemster Scholarship 2021. So there are quite a lot of them here you can explore. Uh, Nottingham Trent University Scholarships. And University of Birmingham. So I think um, you can apply to as many as you want. And uh, um, if you are probably grateful, then you can actually get one of them. To work in the UK with IELTS, the UK government has announced new post-study work visas for international students. After getting your degree from the UK, it will allow you to live and work in the UK for up to two years after a master's or three years after a PhD. So, um, the explanation to give to this is that the UK government is granting scholarship to international students. I mean, international students are students who are not currently from the UK. I mean, those who are studying in other parts of the country other than the UK. And what happens here is that once you get a scholarship and then you pursue your degree in any of the aforementioned universities, you are allowed to live and work in the UK up to two years. That is, if you did your master's, I mean, if you came to um, do your master's here, but then you are permitted to live for three years if you did PhD. So you just have to take note, probably. Who will be eligible for a graduate route visa? The graduate route is intended to be available to anyone graduating from a UK degree who holds a tier 4 visa when the system is introduced in 2021. I don't actually um, have a fair knowledge about the tier 4 visa, uh, so I can talk extensively about it. So you can just um, go to this website and then um, 
you can check for yourself there are quite a lot of information here um, just get one of your so just click on one of the scholarships and see how to apply for them so let me go and look at the chevron which i'm quite familiar with so let me click on the chevron and see if it opens all right so let me click on the how to win the chevron scholarship let me take out this so how you can win a chevron scholarship 2022 stop chevron scholarship 2022 is opening in five days we have received an email from chevron secretariat that the applications will open on 3rd august 2021 probably 3rd august is far gone and it will close on 2nd november 2021 so guys if you are interested in this scholarship then you must grab it now because it ends on the 2nd november 2021 so just i mean give your short end i believe that um you will definitely get it chevron is a uk government fully funded scholarship to study a full-time one-year master degree program in the uk in this post it will tell you how you can win a chevron okay so let's look at last year 1800 chevron scholarships was provided to all the students from all around the world last year the chevron removed the english language requirement like ielts or TOEFL due to the covid 19. we are not sure what they will do this year well, Chevron scholarship is open to any country. There are no country restrictions. The last date to apply will be the same for all countries. A scholarship will cover your accommodation, your tuition fee, your fees, airfare ticket, books, stipends, visa cost, etc. Each and every will be covered. So don't worry, you don't need to spend a single penny. But for this, you need to give your most of the time to be selected for the Chevron scholarship for the year 2022. We will guide you through the whole process, guidelines, acts of children's scholarships, and what I mean. So, you can just read more about the scholarship and uh, you are good to go. So, six application tips for children's scholarship check your grammar and make sure your sentences make sense. Double check the spelling of question. I mean, so as I said, if we ask to write an essay, I think these are some of the tips they are giving you here. Use um, what is this I instead of we when discussing personal achievement. Don't use bullet points to outline job responsibilities or future plans in your answers. We want you. You want to know as much about your goals as possible, so write in full sentences and share your stories with us. Assessors know when answers are copied and pasted from a CV in person. I mean, a whole lot of them you can read here to meet the criteria. So guys, this is what I have for you today. I just wanted to expose you to some of the ways you can just come to the UK without having to write IELTS. Because, um, as I said, IELTS is becoming one of the um can that is eating into the moral fabrics of many people so there are some questions you'll be asked to answer i mean there are a total of four essays so as i said and you have to write um 500 ways so if you are interested you can i mean just read more about it and then start your practice now so this is what i have for you if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel just click on the subscribe button right under this video and you are good to go i got to bring you more information with regards to i mean pursuing your dreams abroad whether in the uk canada or a USA.